Man, this summer has been, like, great. Like, it feels so long, and, like, I don't have to worry about school. And, like, wait, when, when, when is school? Exciting for me in two days. Oh I literally forgot to film this video. I wanted to do it for so long, but the summer has been crazy, and I literally just started this YouTube channel. <laughs> but uh, so school's coming around the corner, and let's just say you just literally came out last year, and now you're going to high school. You're gonna be a freshman. It's a new start to everything. But how do you start? I got a few tips. I have a few tips and tricks for new coming uh, trans kids and if you're non-binary anyone who wants to change their pronouns or their name in school so um, I'm gonna be showing you some examples because I literally did it uh, hopefully it actually works um, hopefully my iPad doesn't fall off the window that it is taped on for that last section <laughs> um, but uh, yeah so let's get right into it Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's already starting right. off. So the first thing I would probably do is to email your guidance counselor. So uh, hopefully everyone has a guidance counselor. I know they have to like, give you one. So uh, the first thing you do, uh, go email them. And here's a template. I'll show you actually what I said. <laughs> That's like really long. Um, sorry about that. Okay. So I, so I, I, I titled it freshman, freshman transgender student. And I said, dear guidance counselor, uh, hopefully I'm not interfering with your summer right now, but I'm an FTM transgender and would really appreciate it if you could refer to me as, uh, it's my name, my dead name, uh, as Cody Mayulo and he in. This fall, I'll be going into my first year freshman year. This would, be, this would mean a lot to me and would make me feel much more comfortable if you could let the other teachers know and maybe on the first, second, or whichever day you're free during school to talk and we can maybe go over bathrooms and my name. And just to get to know each other, I would be, I can't, I can't English, uh, each other, I would be very grateful, thank you, and then Cody Mayulo, and then she responded, hi Cody, that's great, that's a, that's good, that's some good stuff right there, uh, thank you so much for reaching out, I would love to set aside time to meet the first week of school, so we can get acquainted and resolve any issues or questions that may have at the time, I will send you a pass for the first few days of school so we can meet, and she put a little face, I like that. <laughs> I will touch base with your teachers so they are aware as well. Enjoy the rest of your summer and I look forward to meeting you. And then her name. So that's a good start. First, just email her. You could even use that, just change a few things and then it'll be perfect. I know some people, school's already started for you, but for people like me, school hasn't started and you could probably still email your teacher even if school is like kinda on the way. Um, but the best part is probably do it before so when you go to school, your teachers already know, and students around you will know. Cause if it's, I last year in eighth grade, um, I changed to halfway through. I transitioned, like, socially, but not a lot of people knew, and I was too afraid to ask or tell anyone to like fix how they said my pronouns or anything. Cause I was like, eh, school's almost over. I'll just do it next year. So maybe if it's already halfway through the school year for you, maybe wait till next year and email your teachers before school starts so then they know and you're like, oh, look at that. All right, so the next thing you do to pass in school is to dress more masculine. Because I know, I know it's like, oh, boys can wear whatever they want, girls can wear whatever they want, and gender, clothes don't have gender. But this is not TikTok, this is not Instagram. People are not like that in real life. People are mean in life. <laughs> so like, if you're gonna, if you're dressing feminine, People like a skirt or something that's really tight. People are gonna assume you're a girl. It's it's just it happens. It's a thing that everyone does. It's because we're born with it. It's been happening for years and years. Um, so I would probably say if you're uh, FTM, just wear more masculine stuff. Wear sweatpants, joggers, um, like t-shirts, like from the boy section, men section, whatever. Uh, shoes wear like Vans. Just. Just be masculine. Um, with backpacks, get something like that's not so pink and pretty and stuff like that. So yeah, like this is my backpack, right? It's just checkered. It's just blue and black, and it's it's 
it's not that much. Um, and people will probably think from behind. Because, you know, if you see people that aren't in your classes and are just, like, walking to school, they're going to assume, hey, look, it's a dude. Because that just happens. It's just life. People walk down the street and just gender everyone. Oh, that's a guy. That's a girl. Because they just look on appearance. They don't know you. So they just, just try dressing masculine or feminine. Whatever you are. FTM, MTF. <laughs> yeah, because... Guess what, this is, people, if they see one thing that's kind of brightly colored, they're gonna think you're a girl. Um, wear your binder. I know, it's like, don't wear the gym, but if you actually try in gym, I don't. <laughs> I kind of just go to gym and uh, sit there and just kind of sit and not really work out or try. So it's like kind of fine, because I'm just like walking around. Uh, but if you actually try, maybe before you go to gym, use the locker room, but, oh my fingers. <laughs> uh, use the locker room. Uh, I, I don't know if they allow people to use, like, switch changing rooms. Um, I have gym at the end of the day, so I'm not gonna change leaving, because I'm, I'm, like, I'm not going to any classes, so it's like I'm going straight home, so I'm not gonna change, so helps with dysphoria. <laughs> so I'm definitely, if they don't allow me to go into the men's, definitely just gonna skip it and just put my backpack outside or something. Uh, if you're MTF, uh, just wear feminine stuff. Just, just, just wear whatever you want because <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> uh, wear dresses, wear pink stuff. Wear... Because people will think you're a girl if you wear that. Uh, people will think you're a boy if you wear more boyish stuff. I know, like I said, clothes do not have gender. Right? You wear whatever you want. But if you, if you really want to pass well, maybe put down that pink floral thing and put on that just like black t-shirt. I'm here to some other miscellaneous stuff to pass in school. Um, if you're a dude and you hang out with a lot of girls, that's fine. Like, I, I do that. I have a lot of girls that are friends. Um, maybe you have a few guy friends. <laughs> I, this sounds mean, but, like, if you see, they're going to rat like tattle you out. Like, if you're a guy hanging out with a bunch of girls, you're like, mm -hmm, are you sure? And if you don't really pass well. So maybe I have just a lot of dude friends. But it's your life. Do whatever. Be friends with whoever you want. Okay? <laughs> that's, like, the least of the stuff you have to worry about. Um, maybe posture, maybe slouch a little bit more, uh, man spread, oh, man spread, man spreading is, that's what you gotta do to pass. <laughs> uh, just, maybe just lower your voice, try talking from here instead of up here, or the opposite for whoever, whoever you are, if you're watching this, but, uh, yeah, it's just little things that help you pass, like, sounding, or, dressing this way or acting this way will help you pass and help you in the long run so um but once you you come out you say oh i'm cody oh i'm he him people won't like be like well some i don't know about everyone but some people will be like oh, all right I, I, I don't care if you are that like that i'm just gonna call you that because guess what i ain't an asshole <laughs> and i know i have some people who will be like well that's stupid i don't believe in that that's because they're just insecure about themselves all right just like let them be because they're just insecure with themselves and don't like helping other people when they know who they are because those people making fun of you probably have no clue who they're gonna be and are afraid they're gonna be working at a gas station in 20 years so you know what just let those people be let them figure themselves out while you are happy figuring yourself out <laughs> so i think that's everything if you like this video please like and subscribe and go check out my other videos i hope you guys have a great year um hopefully <laughs> this year goes great um, I'm literally going to a new school. Uh, it's huge. It's like three, it's like two stories and like three buildings. Oh my goodness. It's like so much. <laughs> but I think, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do good. You know, it's a new year, new me. I'm gonna be a lot more confident in myself. So, uh, yeah. Peace out.